Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a very, very exciting video. It's a throwback OG Pretty Shiny Sparkly video. It is a luxury haul. You guys know I talk about a lot of the different things on my channel, but luxury has been one of those videos that like types or categories of videos that has kind of fallen by the wayside over the past year, year or two. Um, so if you're new and you're not familiar with my channel's luxury past, this might come as a little bit of a shock to you because I probably have never talked to you about it before in recent videos. But yeah, all these, all that, that's all like OG channel content. And we're gonna get back to that. We've done some planner content. We're gonna do an, a luxury uh, haul unboxing. There's a couple of different handbags, a push present, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into the video. If you like luxury and you like handbags and jewelry and all those types of things and you didn't know that I used to cover those things on my channel, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because that tells me that you wanna see more videos like that. So instead of leaving it in the comments, please hit the like button. I'll just pay attention to how many likes there are, and if you like that, I will make more of them. If you don't like these types of videos, feel free not to watch this video. I totally understand. It's not for everybody. It's not everyone's cup of tea, which now makes me want a cup of tea. Ooh, it's hot. I'm gonna take this off. Is that distracting, the red jacket? Haven't gotten to wear this jacket since June of 2019, <laughs> when I was in Norway. I hope those were good times. Let's start with the push present. This is from Cartier. You guys know I have a long-standing tradition of push presents coming from Cartier. This one was no exception. Um, so, delving into it, we've got the cleaner case. I asked for one and he gave me two. Um, if you guys need a sales associate at Cartier in Houston, I have the best one. So I will um, just DM me and I will give you his information. Um, a travel pillow. I use these all the time. I actually recently had my Cartier jewelry polished and cleaned. And so I sent them with my husband to Cartier and put them all in one of these little pouches. And it was so useful. So here's the box. Ooh, exciting times. I adore Cartier. Cartier has been a favorite jeweler of mine since before I could ever afford any Cartier. I always, always lusted after Cartier jewelry and I just thought one day I would love to be able to afford a piece of Cartier jewelry and still it makes my, it makes my mouth a little dry whenever I <laughs> rung up at the register, but nonetheless, um, it's beautiful and I'm always so, so fortunate and so lucky to have some Cartier jewelry in my life. So taking it out of the box. This gorgeous, do you, have you guessed it already? Have you guessed based on the size of the box? Love these boxes. They have this little push button and they open and what? There's nothing in there, but there is a screw. And that is because I've tricked you guys. I'm actually already wearing it. I've been wearing it for a few days now. Let's show you the stack. The stack is complete. So you guys know I have my Trinity ring. This is from Cartier. It's probably one of the most affordable, like, true gold like luxury pieces from Cartier that you can get. Um, so this is the Trinity ring, this is the standard model. And this is a bracelet by Stephanie Gottlieb, it's a rainbow tennis bracelet. And this was my first push present, which is the rose gold love bracelet in size 17. And that was when I had Harper. And then the white gold, which probably wouldn't recommend getting the white gold because it ends up looking kind of gray, um, but say la vie. Uh, the white gold, I would probably actually find try and find out how to get this rhodium plated so it gets a little whiter. But the white gold was for my very first Mother's Day. And then this is the new beauty. This is the, the one that I wanted to complete the stack. It is just the yellow gold love bracelet. And I get mine without diamonds. I get them totally plain. I like not having to worry about the diamonds falling out. I don't take these off. I keep them on. I like them to be plain, that's just what I like. And then this is also new, this was a gift from my daughters to me after I had Juliet, and it is a charity bracelet from Louis Vuitton, and it is in pink, and it's got like this cord, you can see it's like actually gotten really worn in the past month, but um, it's a cord, I don't take it off, so it's a cord, it's a pink cord, it has a sterling silver little lock on it, 
and it goes to i think unicef charities is the is what i recall unicef so children's charities which is appropriate um so that is what i got from cartier yay i'm so happy i love it i love it so much now let's go on into the louis vuitton unboxings just got back from the galleria so which one should we do first i don't even know what's in what that's a lot of stuff guys this is the big bag all right so first one is in this huge box take off the ribbon take open this up and inside we have a bag and a bag and this is so pretty i tried this on in the store and oh my god i had the best sales associate i have a sales associate but she's like wasn't there today so she referred me to another guy and he's so awesome he was so fun he just kept saying yes the whole time and i loved it it was just like maybe want to keep buying more and more he was a very good sales associate this is the louis vuitton neo noe in the caramel color i debated between getting this in the pink which is the rose ballerine has the pink here and the pink inside and this caramel i ultimately decided that the caramel is more classic it would kind of go with more things it wouldn't feel so springy or summery like i could wear this fall i could wear this winter um and the really cool thing let me show you hold on sorry bag you're going on the ground let me put this up the really cool thing that the sales associate showed me on the Neo Noé, this is the Neo Noé means it's the new model of the Noé, which is their classic bucket bag. So as you can see, there's no Vachetta leather anywhere. You don't have to worry about this going out in the rain and getting stained. Um, and this is all tanned leather, so this is not going to patina. It's just the color that it's going to be. And this caramel color in particular is gorgeous. Now it does still have the classic pull loop drawstring design but in the inside you can see i'm going to get some samorga inserts for this but you can see there's like a little attachment here i think it's actually sewn in yeah so it's basically a divider which is really cool and so you can put like valuables things you don't want to fall out easily in there um whatever and that zips up and then the inside is this gorgeous like alcantara suede leather type camel caramel actually is the color lining and it depends the lining depends on what color you get in the bag um but i just thought the caramel was the most classic it's sold out online but they actually have it in the store in houston so this is the cool thing that the sales associate showed me is that it's got this little ha you know handle so you can just wear it like normal like a mom bag or you can unsnap these bonk and then you pull these up like so, and then you snap them here. And now it's a long strap. How smart is that? Leave it time. You're so smart. You're so smart. Love that it doubles up into a thicker strap, which is how I'm going to be wearing it. And then I want to get another handle from Samorga that you can put between these. It's like a top handle or like a little pearl handle or something that would be really cute so that is the first handbag and i'm obsessed with it by the way that color is the only one that sold out online so it must be a pretty popular color and this bag i felt like such a baller like i've never bought this much like this amount this sheer volume of things from louis vuitton ever in the and so i felt like such a baller walking out with like i felt like pretty woman like big mistake like i felt like big mistake big huge my hands were full with Louis Vuitton boxes and I was like, oh my god, it's so bougie right now. So in here in this box, oh, I'm so excited. I'm really, I'm excited about both, but I'm really excited about this one. These are both on my list of things I've wanted for quite a while. Um, and you guys are going to freak out because I already have one back there. The uh, Pochette Matisse, which is one of my fa all-time favorite, actually probably my favorite Louis Vuitton handbag of all time. I have one back there somewhere. And I have it in the regular monogram. And this is the reverse, which is so cool because it has like the black 
I love this. This detail here, this black cowhide handle is so pretty. And the inside is black and it's got the reverse strap and it's just so freaking cool. And we decided to dress it up a little bit. So let me show you. So we got some stuff for it. Are you guessing what it is yet? Are you guessing? I'm normally like, I don't get any accessories. I don't, I like, I I have in my mind that I wanted to purchase a bag and then I'm like, I'm only buying the bag and that's it. And I leave the store and I don't buy anything else. Like I'm really good about that kind of stuff. But I was having just a really fun time with Josh, the sales associate. And we just were having so much fun. So anyway, got this strap because they can both, this strap can work on both bags. So kind of makes it a little bit more casual look, like I can throw it on either bag, really, really cool. Let me show you what it looks like. So the bag itself comes with a reverse monogram strap. So having it like this would just give it a little bit of a different look. So it would be a thicker, kind of more sporty strap. This is non-adjustable. And I really like that because I can use this on a ton of different Louis Vuitton bags. So I'm really excited about finally having one of these in my collection. So that's that. And then we got something else to dress up the pretty bag. Let's go ahead and put this back in, in this box. Keep the strap out and show you the final unboxing, which is in this box, there is this little bandeau, is what they call them, which is basically like a twilly. Um, this is the twilly on one side and this is the Twilly on the other. And I just love, there are a lot of brown, like brown on brown uh, bandos um, out there, but I just thought that it looked really cool on this, like I, with this one. I just thought it was just such a cool look. So I'm gonna put that on the top of the handle right now. Okay, so that's done. So this is the Twilly on it. Um, I obviously just, I, I don't know the proper ways of putting this on, but anyway, this is what it basically looks like and I just wrapped it around the handle here. You can do this on any bag, but I just thought that was so cute. And then combined with this, it just really kind of customizes the bag into something really unique and special. So anyway, that is the unboxing. Uh, it's been such a long time since I've done a luxury unboxing like this, so I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that everyone is doing well and staying safe, and yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm really glad to be back and doing some OG old school videos, so yeah. Um, let me know what you thought of this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure you subscribed if you are new here. I, my name is Christina Brawley. I'm an anesthesiologist, a wife, mom, dog mom, and a YouTuber for 11 years, and I'm also developing my own range of size-inclusive performance scrubs. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!